Welcome to the part 2 of the Pitman shorthand gram logs. In this video, we will be looking at some more gram logs. Right before starting, I would like to tell you one thing, which is you have to pay attention to one thing. Uh, for example, I make uh, any stroke here like this. So if you notice, I started from the downwards direction and then I went to the upwards direction like this. In the same way, if I make another curve like this, so I started from the upwards direction and then I went to the downwards direction like this. So you have to check this every time whenever I'm making any gram logs here. You have to check this every time because I won't be telling every time about individual gram log. So just keep this in your mind that I won't be telling this every time. You have to check for each gram, gram log that whether I'm going from the downwards direction to the upwards direction or I'm going from the upwards direction to the downwards direction. All right, let's begin. So first we have this put. So for put, we simply use a light stroke below the line like this. Next we have B. So we for B, we use our dark stroke on the line like this. Next we have this 2B. So 2B is a simple a dark stroke below the line like this. Next we have it. So it is a light stroke on the line like this. Next we have had. So here is duck stroke above the line like this. Next we have do. So do is again dark stroke but on the line like this. Next we have this uh, difference and difference. So we use a dark stroke below the line like this to represent difference or different. Next we have this much. So for much we use a light stroke above the line like this. Right? Next we have this which, so for which we use a light stroke on the line, like this. Alright, so that was all for the part 2, see you in the next part.